another episode of Blind Box. Woo! So there's a couple things that I got want to show you guys in this uh, video, and I'm really excited actually. Uh, but let's start it off with my sticker wall, because I got some new stickers in the mail uh, from this really cool company called uh, Crappy Kids. They're called The Crappy Kids, and uh, it's cooler than it sounds. <laughs> um, but they're like a really cool uh, independent clothing brand. So they're actually really sweet, um, and they send me a bunch of stickers, so I'll be showing you some of that. And don't worry, there'll be uh, some close-ups to all of these. There's some like normal little poops. They're all poop, by the way. <laughs> they're all like little poop shapes. I'll, show you, I'll be showing uh, close-ups for sure. But they got Childish Gambino, they have Baymax, they have Wolverine and Spider-Man, and like... Deadpool, they have a minion, and they have one of these like little anime faces. It's really funny. So, for the wall, uh, I decided to, oops, Dr. Wolverine, don't worry, he has healing factor. Uh, for the wall, I'm gonna totally put up probably the Spider Man one, because the Spider Man one is really cool. Yeah, I want to put up the Spider-Man one for the wall. And uh, not not only did they send me all those character ones, they sent me these big ones. These are really huge. There's like a taco one and a rice and eggs one. I think I'll put the taco one in too, because it's really big, it's nice. I, I like having a huge sticker, because they're, like really, they're easier to see. There's like a big Darth Maul one up here. There's, so I'm definitely going to put the taco one up. Also, for the stickers, because there's, seriously, there's a heck ton. But most of these here, I showed you all the character ones, but these are all like blank ones. And they're all different color variations. And it's really awesome. They're all like blank, they're small blank ones, and then there's these big ones. Well, there's a big one. And I'm definitely gonna draw on this, and probably the rest of these too. Because why the heck not? It'll be cool, it's like custom stickers kind of. So I'll draw whatever I want on this right here, and then uh, maybe put that on the wall too. And there's like a big, not just me, senpai sticker. Not just me. And, uh, yeah, so the, the Crappy Kids, they're a really cool uh, indie clothing brand. They do t-shirts. Um, I think, I think they have hats. I don't remember. But they do, they have a really cool website. It looks nice. And uh, they got cool blogs going on there. Uh, one of the recent ones I read about was like some sort of MF Doom art show thing, I think. Uh, I don't remember exactly, uh, but actually on that note, um, one of the stickers was an MF Doom sticker, and I decided to put that one on my phone because I love Doom, and there it is. Let's go ahead and put these on the wall. You know what I've been having stuck in my head uh, a lot these times, these, this like time around, this time around, uh, this like time of the, of the year, because it's all like Halloween and stuff. Creepy spooky skeletons. Beep bop boo doo You know what, I'm gonna put Spider-Man right here on the top of my head. I got pooped on by Spider-Man. I'll put this guy on my shoulder. Right here. There we go, right next to the Fan Gamer sticker. Right next to the Fan Gamer sticker. And the Bitmap sticker, which is also a really cool brand. All right. So now that we have that out of the way, the other part of this video that I want to show you guys is I got a package in the mail today uh, from Fangamer. I actually bought it through the Double Fine uh, website. And if you don't know what Double Fine is, Double Fine is a really cool uh, video game developer. They made Grim Fandango, they made Broken Age, and Costume Quest and Costume Quest 2. Now if you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been playing Costume Quest 2 and I'm loving it. And uh, in Costume Quest 2, the kids play uh, this game called Creepy Tree Cards, and that's what I bought here today. I bought my own packs of physical Creepy Tree Cards. Oopsies. Okay, cool. Got some extra stuff down here too, actually. Ta da! Got four damn suckers. The reason I'm looking over there sometimes is because there's like a mirror over there and I just want to like check if I'm handsome enough. Hmm, so pretty. Um, 
But yeah, I got four packs, which is pretty cool. Uh, $20 for a four pack deal like this. And the best thing about them is that there's 10 cards in each, which is kind of great. I think 10 cards in each pack is really sick. So literally I have 40 cards here for the game. And I'll be opening that up. Uh, I'll be opening these up for you guys. Uh, but let's check out these little extra things here. Also, I wanted to mention that um, I actually enjoy my lighting that I'm doing right now. Because you guys can actually see my eyes and like some of my mouth movement. It makes you feel like you could see that I have a human face, sort of, anyways. Instead of it just being blackness. <laughs> so I think I'll stick to this format from now on. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, so, oh cool. Now, I'll go ahead and just show off these little ones first. This is just like a small little catalog type of thing that just shows you more of their like stuff. And uh, you know, cl I'll I'll be doing close-ups as, as per usual, per huge. This is a plastic bag. You can see through it. It's amazing. All right, and then this is a green Mario pipe sticker. I used to have one of these from Fan Gamer because I you know I buy from them here and then here and there and I used to have one of these and I really loved it and I had it on my old phone and then once I switched phones I, I tried taking it off and it just got all like sticky and torn up and stuff and it was terrible but now I'm very glad I have a new one here and then they gave me an Octodad pin you can most likely not see it from this distance but uh, close-ups as poor usual and this is really awesome. So they also always send in small little cards with art on them. This one's from Isa, Isa Art on Twitter, and Isa Art on Tumblr. And it says on the back here, I heard Crystal Face made an appearance at the Runaway 5 show. I missed it because I was in the bathroom. I'll hate bathrooms for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's what it says. And then it's a little piece of art of Earthbound. There's Ness and Boney, unless you, you know, named them differently. And then there's like a little picture up top of his mom, I guess. Let's get on with opening these bad boys. Alright, see you in a couple seconds. Alright guys, let's go ahead and uh, open up some of these creepy tree cards. So let's go ahead and open card pack numero uno. That's number one in Spanish. That's where I probably make that joke. Every time I make one of these opening thingies videos. Let's, let's do it backwards. So I don't know what's on this. I actually didn't really see any of that. Maybe it showed up on the camera, but I didn't really look. It's a cool little background. There's a bunch of bugs all over it. So let's see what we got. <laughs> Bubble barf. It's awesome. So I'll, I'll explain later what these numbers mean. Not sure where to put it, I guess I'll just put it right there. Fudge crystals, cool. <laughs> Eight crystals in his face. <laughs> Get it? Number three, ah, if it was four, that would be great because my favorite number is four. Although the first one was four. And so we got bone bones or bon bones. Not sure how to pronounce that. I'm sure there's a witty pun for that somewhere. Peek at your top two cards and put them back in any order. Cool, so some of these have uh, like special uh, skills. Bond bones, I see. Tongue punchers. I actually think I remember these uh, in the game. Uh, opponent plays a card, so it's kind of like the opponent plays a card uh, against their will, I guess. Like even if they want to or not. I don't know why I flipped that one. Toffee taffy. Brum, brum, brum. It's like conjoined twins, but not really on purpose. Or naturally, I mean. I want to wear a shiny. Sugar Uncles! <laughs> they look like little weird Marios. This guy's butt got bitten off. Where's your butt at, though? Where the butt, where the butt, where the butt at? Suckums! <laughs> Opponent plays a card. Look at that. She's just sucking the extract of cupcake there. So number seven, Splorts. If the next card you play uh, would make you puke, discard it and play another. Ooh, that's a good card. That's a good, uh, that's a good thing. So, by the way, uh, puke is a 
is like a factor of the game. Let's see here, Schwar Schaefer's, I guess it's pronounced Schaefer's? Schaefer's Wafers. Your cards greater than seven count as seven. It's a six. That's ironic. -y. That's irony. Ooh, Pumpkin Slow. Put another face up card on top of its owner's desk. Uh, deck. Desk. Put another face up card on top of its owner's deck. I'm not really sure. The cool thing about this guy is that he is on the cover of the cards. The packets. Alright. Card pack number uno. Defeated. Let's check out the other one. I'll put that where the other one was. Because I'm an organized fool, y'all. And yeah, by the way, uh, if you're wondering what all these words are even, they're actually just the word uh, love in like eight different languages, in case you were wondering. Because I don't know if people could just be looking at Kajaralite. What is that? What the heck is Rock House over here in Lieve? It's love. It's the word love in different, different languages. Not really sure of most of these. I know there's a Japanese kanji somewhere over there. Over there somewhere. We'll go ahead and hopefully you can't hear the dog barking in the background. Splorts. Oh, okay, cool. I got uh, another splorts here. And uh, let's see. Ooh, I got some. I got a new one. Snickets. They kind of look like yo gogurts. They kind of look like gogurts to me. And <laughs> I got some smoochies. That looks awesome. Doesn't have a ability. Rice creepies. Ah, I love this one. This one's in the game actually. I got this one recently in the last couple episodes. Peek at opponent's top card. You may discard it. I guess if you want. Rice creepies. Alright, let's see here. Pie cake. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. I would love a piece of pie cake. Sounds great. Nougat nuggets. Ooh, that looks tasty. Hope these are hopefully these are coming out relatively in focus for you guys. Nougat to nougat. Jumping beans. If you hit 17 or more this turn, it counts as hitting 13 exactly. Sweet. It's like a loophole. And what do we got here? Whoa, jelly beaks. Cool. Hanging out with Mr. Toucan. Following your nose wherever it goes, you know. Happy heads. What the heck? Players score all face up sideways cards. Whoa. Okay, well that that's a good thing because of reasons that you don't you guys don't even know yet. Fun size king size bar. When you play this card, choose to play it as seven or eleven. Oh, it's, a, it's literally just a, a uh, question mark. Pretty cool card, actually. Let's see what we got. Got another Jumping Beans card. Pretty cool. I like the ability on that one. Got some Jelly Beaks. Got some dupes up in here. Headless Horse Mints. Awesome. P uh, peek at your top card. You can discard if you want. Man, that's a really cool card. I love the art on that one. Headless Horse Mints. It's a good one. Goozers, bro. Looks like he's throwing up while he's eating it. I don't know if that kid's uh, very healthy. Let's see here, Ghost Munch. That's in the game too. Actually, Goozers is in the game too. That's awesome. I love seeing these in physical form. Peek at your opponent's top two cards. Put them back in any order. Ooh, sneakers. Sneaky sneakers. Ooh, Garlic Crunch. Wow. That doesn't. That doesn't sound very tasty. Actually, it looks like a chocolate bar that tastes like garlic or something. Ooh, Frost Bites. Peek at your top card. These are good in the game. I don't exactly remember what they did, but I remember thinking that they were cool, like the ability in the game. Ooh, Fruit Flakes. I also have that in the game. Fruits in a cereal box. Like, straight up. And Happy Heads. We got another Happy Heads. I actually really love the color on that one. And let's last one for this one. Hey, another fun size king size bar. Yeah, I love these. I think that, I mean, when you play this card, choose to play 7 or It's a really good, strong, it's a strong ability. Gonna change the top facer. Ooh, yeah, of course it is. So it's different as they are facing. I enjoy this. I'm having fun, are you? I hope so. I hope so. Okay. Bond bones. I'm I'm assuming it's bone bond bones, but it's probably not. Kind of like bonbons, I think, right? Is that the joke? I'm not a I'm not a master chef though. My sister is a master chef. So I'll ask her later. Tongue punchers. Got another one of those. What do we got here? Toffee taffy. Got another dupe. Hey, got another dupe up in here. Sugar uncles. Some suckums. 
I don't know. Some more sports. That's like the third sports card I got. Some snickets. Wow, this whole package is dupes, I think. Yeah, this whole pack so far has been dupes. Dupesy. Smoochies. <laughs> I love that one, too. Hey, oh, Pamplemousse. Dude, that's so cool. Look how cool that is. Uh, cards less than four count as four. That might be a good thing or a bad thing. It's also a four, though, so it doesn't really screw itself over. So, the, I, I guess the joke here is Pomplamoose, because that's a band. Not lost on me. Nubbins! That's cute. At least the last one's also not a dupe. All of, man, all of these were dupes except the last two. I'll leave the Pamplamoose on the top. And now I'll go to the segment of the video where I explain what the heck the rules are to these uh, cards in the game. Yeah, so let's do that. Peace out, homies. Alright guys, so I set up a little uh, battle arena here. This is my deck right here, and then this is the deck of my opponent, which is Ness. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's go on with the rules. So the uh, basic thing here is the winner of the Creepy Treat Combat is the one who can eat the most candy without puking. So, uh, let's see, well, y you puke if the numbers on your cards add up to more than, like, 13, uh, and you take turns flipping cards. So, let's pretend that we're gonna go for a round. So, I'm gonna take a card, I'm gonna flip that, I'm gonna flip the pig, and I got Headless Horseman. Whoa, how'd that get there? I didn't choose that on purpose. So, I have seven, right? I'm pretty close to 13 already. So that's my card right there, and then he'll flip his card, boom! And what is it? It's a Pamplemousse. I didn't pick that one either, that's crazy. Right, so, uh, so that's a four. So that's, he's got four and I got seven. Now, uh, let's see here, so it's, it's a little bit like Blackjack, if you've ever known, if you ever like played that, because you can't go over 13. And I forgot what the number for it, for it in Blackjack is, I think it's like 25 or something. Uh, or something like that, I don't remember. 24. Uh, but let's see here. So, uh, flipping a card is like eating the candy. So basically I just ate 7 pieces of candy, and he just ate 4 pieces of candy. Now, like I said, 13 makes you puke. And the winner of the round, uh, earns, uh, earns the points on the cards. So, uh, and the loser puts their cards into their puke pile. So let's, let's keep pretending that, uh, let's say I want to flip another card, just to see how much I get. So it's five. So that is actually really awesome because I it's twelve. I'm twelve. I'm I'm basically as close as I can be to thirteen without actually being on thirteen. So I'm just gonna set that there. I'm just gonna wait for his turn to happen. And he's got four. So when he floops his pig, he's got an eight. All right. So he still he still has some room for more candy. So he could decide to go for another card. Because he's not at 13 just yet. Just like me, actually. We're actually both on 12. Um, but let's pretend that the opponent wanted to go for something else. And he flips his card and he gets an 8. Alright? Oh, but in this instance, it says opponent plays card. We'd both get screwed over. Because then I would have to flip a card. And then uh, I would get that. So then we would also... So basically, this specific turn here, it makes both of us puke. So what happens when you puke is basically it's kind of like discarding. So you basically just lost the the round. So we both just lost the round. He'll put his puke pile over here. I'll put mine over there. And let's go for one more round of simulation playing time. So what do I get? I get a garlic crunch for two. Uh, Ness, my man, has toffee taffy for six. All right, there you go. So obviously have more room to get to 13. I'm gonna flip the card. I got frostbites for three. Oh, well, I have plenty of room now. It's five. Let me take a gander at what I've written down here. All right. So I have uh, I have five here. Let's see. He has six, and then that's another six. He's got twelve right there. Right. So let's pretend that um, let's pretend that I have the upper hand here. And he's pretty close to 13, but he doesn't really want to with uh, he doesn't want to risk puking, like actually puking. So what he can do is turn the cards to the side, 
and like they're just gonna be there but in the background and so um, basically what happens here is I'll I'll win these points so this is my peak pile I'm gonna move that away and I'm gonna go ahead and say that I have five points now so I'm winning with five points he has zero points but he has these on the turn so the point of turning your card just to um, it'll it'll carry over into your next round so I have five right he'll have seven now let's pretend we're gonna end the round there and he wins because he has a higher number uh, it's closer to 13 mine is farther away from 13 uh, and he doesn't peak you know so he gets to eat the seven candy but since these are turned down over here these are turned he actually keeps all of these points as well so then immediately he's in the lead if he wins the round with turned cards in the background uh, one rule about the turned cards is that you can't have more than five turned cards at a time. And that basically covers all the uh, rules for the game. If you think you would be into this, I definitely recommend you buying it. And even if you're just into the art, you probably uh, should buy a pack. One pack is like, I don't know, like six dollars? And then for four packs, it's twenty dollars. I think that's how the deal goes. Uh, but yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's really awesome. Uh, my name is Crystal Face, and I'll check you back in the next episode.